this is a concept that I actually heard first on Vibe stream, and that is establishing a queen anchor for defense against heavy Ling Bane attacks, and thinking about where that anchor should go. So, Cactus Valley, you don't know where the opponent spawned, but if there is no one base cheese and you're kind of moving into your third base, it's important to think about how you're going to defend your third hatch and your natural at the same time. And usually that's by concentrating a queen anchor between your natural and your third. But a queen anchor is pretty expensive, so generally that's something you're going to do if you're planning on defending primarily in that stage, rather than being the aggressor. It allows you to get a lot of creep, the queens gain energy over time, which means they can heal each other, they can inject bases. It also gives you something to deal with muta transitions later on. If they were to harass you with mutas and you had just a few extra queens, they're a lot less likely to get some critical damage done. So on this map, I like pulling off gas a little bit and getting out a third queen kind of fast just because it, there's so little information on a four player map. And if you have your third queen already in progress and they do cheese you, you have a lot of stuff that you can work with. So one of the most important things about having a strong queen anchor for defense is having the queens on a separate hotkey. Their unit properties and their job is very different from Ling Bane. So, especially for Ling Bane defense, they're going to be more of zone control, where they try and defend and control a particular area, rather than running back and forth on the map, counterattacking, darting between bases. That's more of the Zergling's job. And then the Baneling is the really concentrated AoE defense. If the opponent ever concentrates a whole bunch of Lings in one place, the Banes can really snap that momentum or at least force the links to slow down and split up and make them less effective in general. So the units tab, we'll look at the relationship between drones and queens and links and banes. So I'm green, the opponent which is loco is red. We're pretty even on workers at this point, but I'm going up in queens and I just killed one of his queens. So I have four queens, which puts me in a fantastic spot for defending if the opponent is aggressive with Ling Bane. And now I'm just droning and making queens. Let's slow it down. So the queen anchor spot for this map, really for any map, would be between your two most exposed bases. So right now my main is my safest base, my natural and my third are the bases that are most open to attacks from the opponent. The opponent could attack around this way to the third base, but I don't have drones there, so that's not really a concern for me. They could attack in this lane or in this lane. So if you put your queens here, they're going to be damaging any banes and lings that run by. So I'm using lane bane to assist the queens, but five queens, that's kind of the magic number to be able to safely transition into roach play and lair tech against someone who's going for really heavy lane aggression. So I saw an evo and he has finished melee so his lings are stronger than my lings but if i have some banes to assist the queens then the lings can't really get the trade that they want by just a moving my lings and queens should never overextend like your job is to anchor this area not to push toward the opponent these queens wouldn't be able to walk off creep and go attack so I just hold fast, hold tight, make sure there are always some banes supporting the queens. And you don't really need lings. Lings defending against ling bane is pretty bad. It's better to have banes defending queens. So I have my queen anchor, I have my banes supporting the queens, and then these lings are kind of just distracting, running around, giving the opponent a bad time. While I get up my ranged attack, which is a better upgrade than melee for the roach wars, making some more queens. I probably don't need this many. Maybe I want a little bit ham. But hey, why not? Makes it really easy for me to drone. And I also have a little bit of room to lose a few queens. And I'll be fine in this situation. Queens. And then you can reach a critical mass of roaches. One thing to look out for 
So I have Queen Bane as my anchor right here. The next exposed location would be Bane run by kind of going in this area. So putting an Overlord here would have been a nice touch. I want to have like four Overlords here. One of the Overlords being up here would have been really smart because I didn't see this going into my base. Because this area is secure. Can't go run Banes into this base without being attacked by four Queens, two Roaches, and a smattering of Banes. So I just had some standing army here. If you're against Ling Bane and you have Roaches, you should think about having the Roaches already in the key areas to defend, because they don't have speed yet. So I can't, like, notice, oh, there's a Bane run by over here. Let me move my anchor over there. The anchor should stay where it stays. So I need to keep some stuff here, and then I put some stuff here, and then I basically checked off the defense I need to reach three base saturation. So I'm just gonna drone my three bases all the way. And I said it out loud during the game, it was like, yeah, there's no way for him to stop me from joining three bases right now. So I don't need to attack. Even though I have the roach lead. I can just drone. And then once I see him going for roaches, I can make my own roaches. I have plus one ranged. He has plus one ranged as well. But then I get even more value for these queens that I made early against the Ling Bane. Now I can transfuse. So I actually have fewer roaches. I have 16 roaches with the same upgrades. He has 19, but I have eight queens and defender's advantage and 63 drones. So this base is fully saturated with gas. He has full mineral, not full mineral. And the main is mining out. It kind of happens a lot in the aggressive games. The main mines out, so even though you have three bases mining, it's not always three base saturation. The queens could have killed that overseer. It was a bit of a missed opportunity by me. No, but then it kind of plays out. If you have the faster three base saturation, then you can get the faster max out with roaches. So that's kind of my goal from here. I still don't really need to attack. I have plus two on the way. Roach speed is done. But right around this time. 177 supply. I'm getting close to getting maxed. Remember to build a bunch of overlords when you're getting maxed out. Roaches are very, very good for how much health you get for the cost, but they're very costly for supply. It's two supply for a pretty cheap unit. 75, 25. And then the queen anchor. It's kind of just scattered around at this point, but I do have five queens on one hotkey, and his follow-up is Spire for some mutas. How many mutas are being made here? Let's see production. Oh, he's not making them yet. Two, three mutas. The ranged upgrades also benefit the queens, too. So that's part of why a muta transition is a bad idea against someone who's massing queens, is the mutas aren't really going to be able to deal damage and you need a lot of them to be able to kill roaches and the player who's making roaches could go for infester or hydra to complement their roaches or they could send the queens if the creep spread was a bit better i could drop creep from this overlord creep spread drop creep creep spread and kind of get a highway going and then mass queens and roaches and whatnot that's kind of how the anchoring works